you know, I'm dressed especially for you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, can you introduce yourself, like who you are and what's your role at the company? Hello, the, my name is Asaf and I am from PPC Winner. Uh, PPC Winner is a sophisticated system that managing and creating PPC uh, advertising for Amazon sellers. Cool. And, so how are you different from the other guys that are um, PPC software? There's looks like there's so many of them. Like how are you different? There are several uh, software in this area that is very become to be very popular uh, and because there is a good market for that. Uh, what we are different than other software is that the fact that all, all, all the software are talking about automation, how they create and optimize their seller listing. But one thing that's very make us unique is really the customer experience, the way the customers interact with our system, and the way it done is doing creating and managing a campaign in less than two minutes. You can create a very sophisticated professional campaign for your listing in less than two minutes. You know, when you're making a sandwich, it usually takes you more than two, two minutes. So this is uh, less than making a, a sandwich. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how we create a, a new campaign. Okay. Uh, That's super fast, two minutes. Yeah. Yes. Start, put out the, the clock. <laughs> All right. Over here, so this is our screen. This is the, the promotion manager. And I, I just click here, create a promotion. I'll create a new promotion for Lina, right? All right. Set up the budget, and then usually we recommend to start with the minimum, with the minimum thirty dollars. Sorry for that. Who's calling? Now I'm going to choose my product, and the product is come automatically from the integration, from the connection between system. So let's say that I want to take this uh, microphone. I'm doing the paint for me. So. This is the screen where I put some relevant information that relates to my campaign. And things that we are, uh, the system actually requesting is <clears throat> a competitor assets. And the reason for having the competitor assets, so the system will know and to get, uh, the system is actually creating a keyword research hmm. based on all uh, details. So, so this is the reverse, reverse ASIN uh, keyword hmm. search, right? Okay. So the system know how to go to this reference products and to retrieve their successful uh, on converting keywords. So by creating the bank of keywords for the campaign, it will go to competition, it will go to the history, and it will go to some of your keyword references. And then the system will create a funnel, uh, let's call it uh, of between 50 to 100 different keywords, and we start optimizing from that. So i just put here one, two, three. Let's say over here I need to put reference keywords, so just one, just for the example. Now, the, over here you can fill up some information about your listing, but you don't have to do that. But the mo most important thing is really to set up what is your campaign goal. It's either launching a new product, you either want to go to profit, or profit for a product, or for clearance. And I, I will show you how it's actually affecting the echoes, and this is the campaign goals at the end. Mm. Okay. So when is clearance, 70% ACOS, and launching product, how many percent? This is our recommend, uh, recommendation, uh -huh. uh, in it. of course, when you launch a new product, you don't want to put it 30% ACOS because you want to create much, much more uh, impression so that uh, your ads will be, and you know, your budget will be spent accordingly. Okay, okay? cool. Whenever you want to have a profit, for example, and you have a product which is over there for a long time, and you want to add, so you can set up for 30%. And the next step is clicking launch promotion. And now you have live promotion in the air based on a different structure of the campaigns that we are doing. Uh, and now the user doesn't have to do anything, anything. Okay, <laughs> that's like it? All right. Basically. So now the, the user has a, 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 a campaign on the air and we need to wait for the sales to come. Okay. So this is a, the customer experience I was talking about. Mm, that's so easy, right? That's very cool. 
so what else does your software do like the, it automatic automates everything or it sets you let me set the rules or like what what does it do for me and so system actually i will tell you what the system is doing on the back end and as the user what the user needs to do from now and on okay so on mm -hmm. the back end the system now will go and create a keyword research automatically the algorithm will go and take a data from the product history it will go to take data from the competitors and it will do the research from amazon and will build up a bank of keywords and from that moment it will start optimizing these relevant keywords and start converting them and moving them between the different campaigns okay because the system will actually if uh, the seller going in, into Amazon and look on the campaign, it's built up of two campaigns for research and two campaigns, one prime exact and one prime phrase. Okay. And the system know how to adjust the budget and the bidding between the different campaigns. So for example, if you have a, a keyword that converted success, successfully in your research, it will move it either to the, to the prime phrase and to the prime exact because it's a winning keyword. If keywords which are not converting well, they are moving automatically into the negative. So the user just need to follow up over the system to see the reports and to get the information. The user doesn't have to do anything. We do have some feature for advanced users, okay? advanced users that really like to play with the budget to change the budget and update the budget so they have uh, there is some button that they can change and they can adjust the, bu the budget accordingly what about the number of keywords how many are you testing because i really worry about overspending you know how an app can easily overspend by testing too many keywords you know what i mean yeah. how many do you use Usually we use we target between fifty to hundred keywords, okay. which is much. It's not much. Uh, it's it's the right uh, measure. You know there are different uh, methodologies, different point of views of how to do that. Mm -hmm. But we are targeting between fifty to hundred, and our system is the, knows exactly how to in, increase the the bids and reduce the bids on specific situations if it's converting or not converting. So there will be not overspend. So one a keyword doesn't convert, it reduces it to a minimum budget. So it will not spend too much money to the campaign or it move it to, to negative, depends on the case. Okay, and what about the, how do you decide how many clicks is enough to judge? Like what's your, can I set this up or? Like how do you decide that number? How many clicks is enough? From what's your our number? experience and we have experience of thousands of campaigns that we have done, uh, the algorithm we set up the algorithm to do specific number of uh, clicks allowed or uh, and, and it's already built in the algorithm that is kind of a machine learning that to learn your campaign and improve it over time so there's no there's no one on the back that's really uh, doing adjustments it really goes automatically according to the machine learning uh, insight that he gets from your campaign because when I manually do it, I usually look at how many sessions I usually get and how many conversions, you know, session percentage. And from that, I decide, okay, if every fifth person is converting, that means I need to see 10 clicks to get two conversions, you know. And after 10 clicks, if nobody converts, that's how I decide how many clicks to have. Uh, but I guess the conversion rate would vary from category to category, right? Mine, I'm selling dresses, so it's like 15% conversion rate but others could have like 40% conversion rate. Wouldn't that change the number of clicks that you can use? Mm. I, I tell you, I know that you want our secret sauce for our, for our pizza. <laughs> 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 but, but there are things that I cannot tell you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair so enough. That, I think that from our experience and with experience of thousands of campaigns that we've done over the last two years, uh, we have the right numbers in terms of uh, decision making written in the algorithm that knows how to to shift and change and, and learn the specific campaign and each, each campaign is different. Each campaign behaves differently. So uh, each campaign needs different rules. 
So the system know how to adjust according to the result and the, and the rules. So everything is completely automated, right? So how will I, like how soon will I start seeing profit? Because I know it takes time for algorithm to learn what's working, what doesn't, right? To test the data first. So how yeah, soon? I tell, I tell you something. I think that's generally about advertising. Advertising is not about profit or echoes. Advertising is about making sales. And this is the reason why I'm not trying to focus on what is the echoes, if it's 30% or 80%. The most important thing is the sales system will generate more sales. Because at the end, when you, the system generates more sales uh, with PPC, it always also helps you organically. It will help your BSR, sure. improve your BSR, and then it's a wheel that's uh, inflecting one each other. So once you're creating more sales on PPC, you create more sales organically, your BSR is improving, and over and over again. So for, as for your question, uh, when do you uh, expect to see sales? Sales you can see in the first week, in the second week, or in the, four, in the third week. We will see sales coming out from the system. But again, it's, it's also related to your listing. Uh, you know that if you don't have any reviews, for example, it will be much more difficult for you to see sales in the first week. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's related to your listing about the photo, uh, the, the, the product itself, the competition, the photography, the description, the bullets, it's, it's all related to that. Mm -hmm. So the system will do according to the rules, but it's also uh, related to your listing and we do recommend listing to be perfectly good with some reviews. Okay. So on the dashboard there, will I see how it's performing? Like, do I? There, there, there is a, on the Also dashboard. on Amazon Seller Central, I can kind of go and see all of those campaigns, correct? Like I can see how they're doing. And if I make adjustments there, how does that affect your, <clears throat> your end? Okay, both ways. Um, first, from our system, you get a weekly report about the, the performance and of the system itself, okay? So you know how much money you spend, you know how much money, uh, uh, how many sales do you had, and what is the profitability, and you get uh, uh, an updated report on a weekly basis. You can also get into the system itself and go to reporting and see the same information that is been sent out and we are now expanding our reporting capabilities, so we're going to have much more information about specific keywords and, and more data around that for advanced users. You can go also to, to Amazon Central and see the campaign itself and how uh, and the performance of the campaign. How it's, uh, what is the results, how many sales, which keywords converted, and, and how it's moving the keywords from one campaign, from one ad group to another ad group. Okay. And if I change anything, what happens? Like, does that ruin all your plans? Like, it, again, I said there are two two modes. There are modes for a uh, full, fully fully automated pilot, and there are semi automated pilot. For the fully automated pilot, on so the next day it will reset itself to the same definition as it was the day before. In semi automated mo mode, uh, if you make changes, it will remain in in the service center mm, okay so you kind of reset everything uh from your end even though right. i will make changes in certain mode okay okay it's, so, it's better to, before you make any changes you better to contact with us and cooperate with one of our professionals we have an uh, expert advertising professionals here that support our customers and really help them to improve uh, different campaigns if they need and help them with other campaigns that they might have. Okay, because I might get scared and I go see big bad acres and lots of spend, I will just pause that keyword, you know, so I might, might want to... Totally, totally agree with you, totally agree. Uh, like any other seller, that we don't want to spend too much money, but uh, we said that on the first two weeks, the only thing that really you really do, you are buying data. You're buying data and, and data about your advertising and about the keywords. After that, you start seeing more, more conversion and, and more impressions. Okay. So usually for one ASIN, is there a budget that you recommend to start with? Like when I start using your software? 
Yes, we do recommend to start with minimum of thirty dollars, and and the reason for that so you will have enough impression, and so the the budget will spend accord according to the number of the keywords that you have, so it will be very it will be effective. Okay. And you will not give me any of a secret sauce, like how you play with the bids. Do you bid five dollars and then wait to see what happens, or nothing? I can give a special coupon if you want. <laughs> okay, I want huh? okay. special coupon. All right. I'll get you a special coupon of fifteen percent to your to anyone that's watching this uh, interview, and I will send you a promo code. Uh, cool. Any okay. Question? Okay. Uh, so that's that, that's what I can do to help you. Okay, so 15% off from your software, right? Yes, okay. Exactly. So can the coupon be called Shopkeeper15? Oh, sure. Okay? Yeah. All right, Shopkeeper15, that's the coupon code to get 15% off. All right, that sounds yeah. good. <laughs> so nothing, you're not gonna tell me any secrets like how you do your bids or anything like that? You know, you know we are here in, in Israel, so we are always secret about stuff. <laughs> All right, but I know those are good secrets because you are from there. They are good secrets and they are very useful. All right, well, thank you very much for uh, showing me around and um, see you everyone. Thank you.